just found out. I'm sorry. I haven't seen you since before. Since before we knew Jason was dead. I can't imagine how difficult this has been for you. I wish Peter had died when you pushed him down those stairs. I know how guilty you felt when you thought you had killed Peter. But if he had died, then Jason would still be alive. Jake would still have his dad. How's he doing? He was already craving Franco and now Jason. It's just more than any kid should ever have to process. Yes, it is. I'm so sorry. It's infuriating knowing that Peter's responsible for both Franco and Jason's deaths. Peter's in custody. And he's gonna spend the rest of his life rotting in jail. I hope so. I wish there was something I could do to make you feel better. Thank you. I didn't know I needed a hug. <laughs> I didn't know how much I needed to see you smile. <laughs> we should do this more often. Definitely. Let's make a date for the next one. <laughs> I'm sure to invite your laugh. Mm. <sighs> it's an emergency. I have to go. Yeah, me too. I'm covered in the ER. Then I'm going your way. They just brought someone in. What did the triage nurse say? Early. Guard found Peter unresponsive in his cell. He was transferred to the prison infirmary. When he couldn't be revived, the warden called 911. But there's, there's no sign of trauma, there's no injuries, there's no blood anywhere on his body. And what do we got? BP's 80 over 40, pulse is 42, respirations 4 to 6 and shallow. Start him on a norepinephrine drip and run a toxicology panel. Tell me he's gonna die. That his life will be cut short like Franco's, and these next few breaths will be his last. <laughs>